Hello guys, it's Walk with Ray Kweke again here tonight and it's 23 degrees Fahrenheit, negative 5 degrees Celsius in the Philippines. So I guess making some soup tonight will be a very good idea. So I will be making Puchero de Cebu, my own version of it. So typically this will take several hours to cook, but I'm going to teach you how to cook it very quick. So let's start off with our ingredients, our beef, cedar cut shanks, I used two portions of it, and it's a pounder piece, and we're going to be needing our peppercorns, our garlic, and our onions, and of course our teaspoon of salt, and a one fourth teaspoon of our accent, and also we're going to be needing water. So these ingredients guys will go together in our pressure cooker for the next 30 minutes. Also on your right, we're also going to be needing our vegetables, our scallions, our sweet corn, our ginger, and our bok choy tips. So here you go guys, here's our ingredients. And for detailed ingredients for a recipe tonight, just click on the description below. You should be able to see it down there. All right, so make sure you watch the entire video so you know what to do with all these ingredients. Let's go. Hello guys, so here we are. I'm gonna be starting with our pressure cooker. So first off, I just poured two liters of water there and make sure it's boiling hot before you even put your meat and your spices on it. So I'm gonna start with my salt and accent there. And then I'm just gonna pour in all these spices like your garlic, onions, and your peppercorns, all right? There you go. So, while you have it there, what I'm gonna do next is I'm just gonna put in my beef center cut shanks, all right? I have a couple, one, so I'm just gonna put it there and let it cook in the pressure cooker for the next 30 minutes all right so after that um, I'm gonna show you what to do in our wall so I just need to cover it and let it seal and we'll wait for 30 minutes after it sizzles all right Hi guys, so it's been 30 minutes since I put our meat in our pressure cooker. So I'm gonna open it and let's take a look. So that's how it looks like. So that's our meat getting ready to be cooked in our wok. So guys, here is our wok. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna pour in our broth. All right, so I'm not gonna include like the small stuff in there. So that's our broth, guys. So what I'm gonna do, keep calm and cook on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put in my ginger. So let's start with my ginger. And my corn. I'm just gonna put that So basically, guys, I'm just gonna boil these vegetables here. So I'm gonna put in my beef shanks in there. There you go. Okay. So we're just gonna cook our corn, our sweet corn. So we'll just let it boil there. I would say five minutes covered, boiled, before we put in our bok choy tips and our scallions. And we're gonna cover it. And then we'll leave it there for the next five minutes and then we'll check on it. Okay guys, so it's been five minutes. We have it boiling with our corn and ginger. So I'm just gonna open it and take a look. Okay, 
It's looking good right now, as you can see. Our beef is really tender right now. And then our corn should be all cooked. But what I'm gonna do, remember we still have the bok choy tips. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add it in here. All right, just to cook it a little bit. And you don't wanna overcook this. You don't want it like too much. So I'm just putting all in there. I didn't cut it, but you can always cut it if you want. But here we go. Our bok choy tips. And I'm just gonna leave it there for the next, again, five minutes. And I'm gonna cover it again. And also, I'm just gonna also put in my scallions all right so pretty much we're all set for all our ingredients we already put them all in our wok so all we need to do is just to cover this and let it boil for the next five minutes okay guys so it's been another five minutes since we put in our bok choy tips so let's take a look and it's looking really good right now. As you can see, the bok choy tips is already cooked. And our meat and everything. So I'm gonna turn off my heat, all right? So the good thing with this, guys, is I put like two pieces of sweet corn. It really tastes so good with the soup, with the soup that you have. And plus our meat that's really tender right now. And it's really, really good. So, there you go. Just put this up in here a little bit so you can see our meat. All right. So let's take a closer look. So here you go, guys. It's walk with Ray Quacky, my version of Puchero. De Cebu. And it's really looking good right now. There you go. That's more clear. Right. Hello guys, it's Walk with Ray Quack again and here's our Puchero de Cebu, my version. And hope you like this recipe tonight. And please don't forget to share, like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And I'm just going to show you how tender it is. And as you can see, and it just detaches from it's me, all right? And it really, really tastes good. So hope you will try this recipe at home. I'll see you in my next vlog. Thank you for watching.